home, so we're gonna get this shot over with. So we can. Oh, we take the shot right now. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Ooh. Take it to the head. Uh huh. Oh, oh y'all. shit hot. Listen. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh my god. <laughs> That was so I gross. Lips. Y'all need some ice. Crush ice or something. <laughs> Y'all got my chest on fire. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. I feel like Fred Sample up in here. It's a big one about to happen. Right. <laughs> Bro, that was nasty. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit was nasty. Oh, Y'all my need some God. Fireball. fireball tastes better than that. Sheesh. Damn, this shit was hot. Mm-mm. All right, y'all watching one shot mandatory. mandatory. So, DJ Smooth, tell the people who you are, where you're from, what make you dope, blah blah blah. Man, what make me dope is I'm smooth. Man, all the way sure. around, man. You see how you walk in here. Girl, I can only freaking imagine. The man is a clown. The man is a clown. Like, okay. Nah, um, I represent that. I represent that Polk County, Lakeland, Florida. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Bowling Green, though. I'm from the country. 3759 Highway 17. One, one call you like. You there? But uh, basically, uh, I DJ, produce, manage the whole nine when it comes to this music game. What's up? How long you been doing music? Uh, since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Nah, uh, I got probably. <laughs> I got probably about 10, 15 years in the game. Um, basically, I started my own company <coughs> back in 2006 called Eyes Wide Open Music Group. Eyes Wide Open Music Group. Yeah, seeing through the fake, recognizing the real. Because in this game, you better have your eyes wide open. Mm. Thanks. Anything else? Yeah, I mean, nah, 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 Chest is burning. No, nah, my chest good. But we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna do no more of that. We need to get some Martell or something, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was Martell. That was Martell. Martell. That was Martell? Yeah, I'm I'm going with the porno shot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, everybody knows we start off with our icebreaker. Icebreaker is this or that. I know we did it last time, but last time was kind of fine. So, I just kind of wanted to repeat that again. So this. Or that while the Martell settles in spirit. Get some lights for that Martell. That's just that's crazy. <laughs> All right, red Doritos or blue Doritos? I don't fuck with the Cool Ranch. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that's cool so ranch. nasty. What? Red Cool Ranch. What? I mean, red is cool, ranch. but it's just something about that ranch. blue. And then when you get that one chip, that got a whole bunch. Got of shout, whole out shout, out, shout out to Pretty Girl Niche. <laughs> Man, come on. Shout out to, to pretty to pretty niche. She been posting blue ranch Doritos with hella stuff on it for about a week. Like she been she finding them. them. Yeah, like, like she like she like she go, No, it's like she on the mission at this point. Like she, <laughs> she been doing ever, this for a whole week. Like Have y'all ever had a one from Taco Bell? No, I don't really eat Taco Bell. I don't eat oh, Taco man. Bell. You talking about you like blue Doritos though? Yes, you get the cool ranch I and you get the red. red. With the meat in them, with the lettuce in them, with the cheese. Taco Bell, y'all owe me some money. I just promoted it. I, I never, you you don't want to know the last time I've had Taco Bell, to be completely honest with you, I've had Taco Bell two years ago. And it was because it was the only thing open during the hurricanes. Well, and I was so thing. fucking hungry on the road. <laughs> and I was Taco like, you know what? Too. What? Where you home? Where you home? And, home? and I was high. So I'm pissed. Like, y'all really followed the rules and was closed during the hurricane. Like, I'm hungry. Taco Bell, that clutch food. No matter what's going on. You know they building one downtown. And it's going to serve liquor. Taco Bell don't serve liquor? I think it's going to go up. I think it's going to go up for the first like week or two. And then, you know, Orlando is a hype city. So Mm -hmm. it's all about the hype and what what the wave is real quick. And then once they realize, oh, this regular ass, nasty ass cat food. Yeah. Oh, that's why why you got to get the Cool Ranch Dorito taco. Mm -mm, Can't go wrong. All right, Pizza Hut or Papa John's? Ooh, that's a tough one. Pizza Hut, period. Yeah, Pizza Hut. Bruh, Pizza what? Hut. Pizza Hut. Papa John's. I fuck with Papa John wings, but Pizza Hut. <laughs> I love me some Pizza Hut. I just, like they pan. Oh, what? 
they pan dishes, they deep dishes, so fuck. They don't give y'all garlic butter. I don't care. I don't need that. They oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, with yeah, they crust and like it's so fluffy. But they give you the they give you the butter crust though. That's all you need. <laughs> I'm just saying. Papa John's has the garlic parmesan crust. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie to that. But 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 who but, got the cheese in the crust? Both, both of them. them. They do. Oh. Yeah, you oh, try to go somewhere, you ain't going nowhere. I <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. I'll vote with Papa John. I, I'll do Papa. I ain't gonna lie. I'll do Papa John's because I do like that garlic, that garlic sauce that you can dip it in. But it's some about that tomato sauce. I'm really like that. I just love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know Papa John. You know he, he be acting funny towards me. Yeah, he kind of he low key uh, racist. Yeah, so, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm yeah. saying, support that. But Shaquille O'Neal didn't bought a whole shitload of them, so I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, I, I mean, that, we ain't even going to get into that topic because <laughs> <laughs> this shit crazy. This shit crazy, boy. Um, Shaquille O'Neal right. Shaquille Head in the morning or breakfast? Who? <laughs> Who? What? When? Where? Say that one more time. Head. <laughs> You said eggs? <laughs> oh, head. Head to tail. <laughs> That's what you should call it. Head in the morning or tail in the morning? No. Head head, head. See, you ever seen heads? <laughs> 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 head, like fellatio. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. <clears throat> or breakfast in the morning. I'm a dude. Head all day long. Bitch, I'm hungry. Break it out with that breakfast. I'll catch you later when I come let's back see, home. Let's see if she right. She already had a breakfast already cooked. So when she comes, while she give you the head, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? This Fellas, or that? Fellas, are you with me? Huh? Right. This or that? This or that? That's what I'm saying. So it's got like, to be. I'm going to breakfast too. Bre- I'm yeah. hungry. Bro. Cook me breakfast. I'm hungry. I want turkey bacon because I'm, I'm getting away from pork, y'all. Don't judge me. But pork just ain't it right now. Even though I gotta start all over because it's morning. He has some bacon. Psh, hey, you know spice. that turkey bacon ain't here. Like yeah, regular it bacon. Turkey bacon ain't really all that good because all the salt. <laughs> I'm just saying. Straight up. Turkey Straight bacon up. Got a lot of it's salt. Really you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what about the turkey, like what about the turkey sausage though? Like instead, yeah. like I just yeah. feel like there's not enough grease in it. I need it. Like yeah, you need grease. Giving, yeah, because it's good. That that's the like, whole flavor. You like to have that juice? Nah, that, I just need the flavor. Okay. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's gonna be hard. It's not, I, I ain't gonna lie, cause then you do chicken. You can do chicken sausage. Yeah. That's yeah, gonna be. You know, it, it don't be. You know, chicken, and turkey, it just don't hit like that pork and beef. Yeah, yeah. Be, see, if we have beef bacon, but that's what I'm saying. Is there, is there, is there yeah, beef bacon? Yeah. Is there beef bacon? Beef bacon? That's what I'm saying. Hell, I don't, hey, hell, they got a. They got a meat out of a plant, so I don't. I mean, yeah. Tofu, tofu. <laughs> I ain't fucking no tofu. Um, I'm gonna say beef bacon. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna say beef that's what I'm saying, like, y'all don't try to steal our shit either, because I feel like... That's a good damn like question. Beef bacon? Beef bacon. Because there's beef ribs. Yeah, and they nasty oh. as hell. They don't taste nothing like that pork, boy. It's just something about them pork ribs. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay away oh, from okay. pork and red meat right now. I, I actually, I, 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 did, I didn't know pork for like two years before. And then my mama cooked bacon. I was hungry as fuck. I said, fuck that shit. Yeah, bacon one of those things where but like... But once you get that initial taste back, it's just something It's about, over with. I couldn't, couldn't go back. Crunch. I couldn't go back. Some and so it made me so mad. Oh. I said, I wasn't going to eat no meat the first of the year, but that damn chicken. <laughs> that damn fried chicken. Um, I had, what did I have this morning? I had Nikki's place this morning. I never heard of that. It's a soul food place. Cut holes in the wall. So fucking good. Three dollar sandwiches. Scrambled eggs, cheese on thick Texas toast and bacon. Bye. It's like, it's, it's like I'm that. talking about and they lemonade. What you Paul? Chick Fil A. They got meat. Chick Fil A shit tastes bad compared to Nikki's. They be just about a good amount of sugar, a good amount of water. They be 
hit <laughs> hit in the wash down all that shit what so good i had that this morning three dollar mm-hmm. sandwich in fact 375 that's why i laid your tax information at Sorry, and somebody asked me if I was there. No, you should have said yes. Pick up a card. <laughs> no, they was like, "Why you ain't got no food for me if you go?" But I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, wishing I was. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Yeah, Nikki, is that? I'm gonna take you there. Where is that? T- it's off of um Tampa and Cartier. What the hell is that? Yeah, Crossing over. Cro- <laughs> <laughs> it's, it sounds like a dairy clothing store. No. <laughs> Crossing over OBT coming from like the 408 coming from, uh, I guess you could say the Okoe area. Mm-hmm. And you get off the exit off of OBT and you cross over that street and you just keep going. Nikki going to be on the right hand side. Is it black owned? It's black owned. And they've been there for years in a straight soul food in a straight. Support that all day, black owned. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm about to come check that out. Nikki's. Nikki's. Nikki's place. Y'all check it out. I'm telling you. Sound like if y'all go shit. there, tag me. That sounds like some mob shit. Nikki's. <laughs> Pippin' Five. It's an old man. I, I, what I told y'all. Old man, mob. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. All right. So. This or that. <laughs> so you say head. I say breakfast. You say breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I don't, you can keep that shit. I don't need it. I want the breakfast. And but I got a question. Okay. What if he had a breakfast cook, have it sitting right there, and then he gave me head all at I, the same time? I first of all, if you give me head right, I'm not eating this fucking food. That's, like, right. that's, that's the best way to I'm know. Not, I'm that's not the best way to know. I'm not eating head and eating bacon at the same. Oh. No, imagine getting no. Imagine getting hit and smoking a blunt, and then eating the baby, oh, <laughs> and then eating the baby. So therefore, hey, I'm saying you just like, look, you just, I had to try look, it. you literally just y'all push it. Y'all the other hand got the right. <laughs> y'all are stupid. <laughs> Bro, you don't feel like you can't tell me, bro. You can't tell me that I had it. You can't tell me you just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me that ain't it. Like, who wouldn't like that shit? Come on. Hey. Who wouldn't like that? I gotta try it. That's what I'm saying. I gotta try it. But you gotta try it with somebody that's like. That's like really doing a job. No, not even that. Like, you just gotta try it with somebody that you're comfortable with because it's oh, gonna yeah. feel completely, it's gonna feel so much better. You smoking a blunt. Because you, you're not smoking a blunt with some person you just met, y'all just getting, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like you that. Pick you over right here, one. like, trying to fill them out. You still damn near trying to teach them how to give head at this point. Mm-hmm. You gotta give it to somebody that's just, y'all have been rocking. Roll up. That's all my, my blunt better be movie. ready. My bacon better be ready. I really want a whole plate. I ain't gonna place bacon. Ain't gonna do it. I need like a cinnamon roll. I need cinnamon. strawberries, strawberries, and you want strawberries, the blueberries, the grapes, and all. I need things. all of that. I need banana mm. cut up. I like like a fruit bowl. Yeah, yeah, I need I need like a good fruit bowl with like some whipped cream because that's how I eat my fruit at Kiki's. I don't even use it for my for my waffle. I'm hungry. I don't shit see now. who would want to eat fruit on a waffle anyway. That just I don't want to get one. That don't sound right. You not. Why mess up a good waffle with a fruit? She mess up, mess up a good salad with fruit. Yeah. You don't eat your salad with fruit? Hell no, I eat a salad with salad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, fruit is fruit. I'm going to eat fruit, eat fruit all by itself. Man, that's just so far. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You go get it, get enough. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm y'all. trying to tell you, like, like, you just in it. Mine because it's like it tastes so good, but I just know I'm just that's like, like fucked up. Right. It's good. I messed around and left. I messed around and left a brownie with my cousin. Like, bro, I don't know how to call nine one one. Like, it was bad. She the was brownie, tripping because it was so good. Mm-hmm. I know a dude lost his job behind a brownie. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was the best brownie he ever ate. <laughs> Had to be. Sheesh. All right. L.A. traffic or Atlanta traffic? Neither, because I ain't trying to drive in either one, but I drive in Atlanta all day. Helicopter me. Yeah, I, I, I do Atlanta, Atlanta traffic. I like the Atlanta traffic. Atlanta traffic, not that bad. It's like when you've been there enough, yeah, you, it, you, you, you kind of yeah, yeah, you kind of see when you about to get on the road. Yeah. Like like when I was just in Atlanta last week, 
I literally would get on the road all day, be on the road all day, probably up until maybe like three, yeah. four, because when 4.30 hit, oh boy, you ain't, you ain't, you hitting you, you, you straight. breaks. That's what you hitting yeah. all day. You damn it sitting on them. And it's like, if you don't know no back roads, you are on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, it's stuck. Um, stuck. So you you might be in Midtown trying to go to like Dunwoody. That's 15, 15, 17 minutes on our own with no traffic. It's 45 minutes with traffic, bro. No exaggeration. This shit is horrible. Yeah, the big cities, man. It's, I mean, our horrible. Let's go damn near like that. But we're not that bad. I feel like we're not that bad. Man. Compared shit. to. I feel like we're not that bad compared to Atlanta. Atlanta got to the point where they got to have stop signs, like one one car go, stop. One car go, stop. That's like what makes on. it even longer, though. Exactly. LA got the same shit. That's car. But that Orlando, shit is horrible. Orlando getting that old. Trust what I tell you. I hope they don't update that shit because that shit mm-hmm. dumb stuff. Man, Miami, just, don't, Miami pretty bad, but they not. They don't got that dumb shit. Man, I was just here Saturday, and we were like <laughs> trying to get on the I-4, and I drive a truck, so I looked in that middle. Hit that middle and hit that little hump and got myself on chrome. You know, but I feel like with and Orlando. A lot of people doing that. I, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel bad. But see, there's no construction over there in LA right now. Well, that's true. There's no construction mm. in, in Atlanta right now. There, I tell you what, there is. There's a lot of construction, but there's construction on the actual like inner cities, like on the road, not on the highway. I got a our, our construction ain't nowhere in I the city. I was just finna say, when the hell yeah. y'all gonna get done with that all, thing? It's all, know, on, it's all on the highway. They said 2022, 2025 area-ish. That's a big ass gap. These jokers that drive around, right, man, they they whip right in there. I don't, like, I'm scared. That road hit that curve and it hit back. Like, God damn, who the hell? I be scared, I ain't gonna lie. Like when my friends be driving, I be like, Remember that one night? Hell, I was driving. I was and, like that. <laughs> and we was going to from we went from what, what the barn to Gil. I was scared. <laughs> I never drive with ass ever again. I was so scared. It was going at least a hundred. Oh, I had a trailer with me. <laughs> I was driving. I was driving the trailer, mm-hmm. and it felt like the road got like this big, and it started. Uh, That's our last comment about the traffic. But <laughs> <laughs> I was going to. Um, I was headed downtown. And y'all know the barriers that just kind of pop up out of nowhere? <laughs> this car ran up the barrier, ran down, and kept driving. Like, ain't nothing. It's like the one barriers? No, like the concrete barriers. Oh. Like, and kept driving like nothing. I said, <laughs> I, I stopped and pulled over for them. I was so scared. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get off this highway, like, ASAP. But I for I for just a long period from Tampa all the way to back over here. It's just ridiculous. Well, you got Disney traffic. You got the commuters. Yeah, you got the airport. You know. What airport? You know, y'all got Orlando Airport. That ain't good either. Oh, that's right. Y'all got construction we, over there too. Like y'all paying up everything over here. Nah, not even that. It's just they trying to they trying to be new and improved. They said we should be looking like Miami by 2025, but. Oh yeah. That's what they say. They didn't say a lot of shit though. So yeah, that damn road still fucked up. I tell you that. Right. <laughs> so you say, well, have you been to have you been to LA? Mm-hmm. I've been to LA. Um. So would you rather take Atlanta traffic or Orlando traffic? Probably Orlando. Yeah, I'm with that shit too. Mm-hmm. All right. DJ in a room full of four year olds or a room full of senior citizens? Senior citizens, my bad. Old folks. Why? No, really? I was just saying old folks. You, said, you kept saying senior citizens. <laughs> I'm country. I old folks. Um, <laughs> me personally, I'd rather do four year olds. I know that's weird. What type of music would you be playing with these four year olds? Man, four year olds easy. I don't think I do. I have somewhere to be. They're good. They just want to jump. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Four years easy. Jump so play some mommy shark. I hate that dumb shit. Oh yeah, you play that. Yeah, I hate that dumb <laughs> shit. That shit's so stupid. Listen, I just played that. You can put that bitch on repeat. I the just played that. They gonna <laughs> they, they don't love that shit. They're like, it's cool. They ain't even gonna care. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, that's the, the number one song for kids right now, man. I'm with that. But I will do some senior citizens. I will do the senior citizens. And I will make them break a hill. 
I'm just saying. Um, hip replacement all day. All day. All day. All right, so we're going to jump into this topic. I'm going to introduce it early too. Um, so the topic for tonight is big guys liking small girls. In cuffing season. Big guys like small girls. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's your question? Why? <laughs> Yeah, that's one of them. Go yeah. ahead. So answer that one first. Depends on what type of big guy. What kind of... See, oh. there are different types of big guys. There's like... Are you saying the fat guy? The sloppy fat. Do you consider him big? No, not. I mean, you ain't skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> like that? He ain't skinny, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't like... I'm talking about... I'm talking about big guys. Like... So like a um, Rick Ross. Yes. Yeah, Rick Ross do like him. He like him. Small and petite. Small and petite with a nice little bike in. Yeah. Um, why they Why they don't like him? I don't like what? big women. Chubby boys. Somebody told me with it's a waist. <laughs> <laughs> why they gotta have no waist? <laughs> why y'all? <laughs> why are they? Why they like? But you got big women that like little men. Yeah, yeah. See, okay, wait, wait, you can, like big, wait. Okay, An- ask, answer the question first. Why do big dudes? Okay, well, first we're defining what big dudes is. So big dudes could be like Rick Ross. It could be like um a DJ Kelly. A D- I thought they kind of the same. They kind of the same. They kind of the same. Kelly, the, same. Yeah. Kelly the only person I know that been on Jenny Craig in a long no way, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I forgot about Jenny Craig. I need Oh, no. I seen a Jenny Craig when I was <laughs> over there in California, bro. It's an actual store type shit. That's right. hey, bro. Yeah, they was like, my friend was like, hey, they go to Jenny Craig. I'm like, is that a price that I look up that be on the fucking a building? Wow. Right. Shit crazy, right? Another one. <laughs> Um, I'm starting to think that you had took one when I wasn't looking. Who <laughs> Um, hmm. Oh, Rod Wave. Rod Wave, okay. Yeah. yeah. What's another one? I think that's really it. But then there's like, um, there's then, then there's like the athlete big. The tall, the tall big, yeah. muscular, yeah. 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 And like, they like small women too. Mm-hmm. Well, you know why everybody likes small women? Why? Because you're just the model type. It's the it's the trophy type. Mm-hmm. It's just it's like a stereotype. You know how they say all black people with dread steel and kill and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just a Somebody stereotype. told me the reason why big dudes like um small women is because uh big dudes make them laugh and make them eat, and that's how they get thicker. So if you're already thick, you are gonna get bigger. That's what they told me. Ain't that? <laughs> so, <laughs> somebody told me that like two days ago, in fact. That's what made me even think about this shit. Wow. I really don't have no comment for that one. But to me personally, I think it's just a trophy. It's just a trophy thing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just something that over the years, everybody always looked for that petite. She got the little Coke bottle. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She got the nothing too big. But nowadays, if you really notice, a lot of people getting the the ass done. Mm-hmm. So you still can have the they little shape, but they you got want that the ass. The thick, the right. thickness, but without the rose. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 There's a difference. They want them thick, but they don't want the rose. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Well, yeah, I guess that's so. But all the big dudes I've seen, well, besides, I guess, all the big famous dudes, all the big dudes I've seen, they got girls with that skin with no boy like me. I mean, it's just, it's just. So now I'll be like, but then you be all under somebody's comments. Damn, that right. ass so fucking fat. Dang, like, I'm, I'm loving, I'm doing, wow. I'm, you jumping in the DMs, mm-hmm. but then you in my DM. Like, what do What's you really, up? like, what do you really You're like? You confusing. It's not that they're confusing, it's just. You know the old saying, skinny, skinny women could, could take, could take the D better than. Thick women. Um, that's what the old. That's what the old used to. Nah, that's what all my. That's what all the guys say too. So yeah, every guy that's been on here that we've asked. I think like you were saying, it being like a stereotype. 
I feel is. like I feel like guys they they feel like they have to like a, that certain type of woman. They have to express that and be under their pictures and let the world know that they like that type of woman because if they told the world that they didn't, they would be looked at as weird. Which is crazy to me though. You do you know what I'm saying? Me it's personally like, I like I like I like slender. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't I don't, I don't like I don't like big. That's just me personally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know that's just like a Jamaican. They like they women big. <coughs> Oh, Jamaican do kind of yeah, like Jamaican big. people like they women be. Yeah, they okay with the rolls too. <coughs> yeah, they like rolls and all. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But I know. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just I always. That's how I always been ever since I was little. Yeah. I just like that. What's your preference to men? Do you like big guys? Mm. What you like? Wait, like what? Them. What do we? What do we consider big? Do we consider muscular big, or do we consider fat big? Bad big. That's what but you even, like. but even, yeah, I don't even really like them big and too muscular neither. Would you like I average? I like them kind of average, yeah. With like a, a decent body, like he ain't got to be cut or nothing like that, but. He ain't no Rick Ross. Yeah, no, I don't, mm-hmm, yeah. 1990 Gucci man. Or I don't want to say Gucci. <laughs> um, Gucci. Gucci. Uh, so, yeah, I like the Gucci today. Gucci today. Yeah. You like Gucci with the nice white teeth and nice slender body. And I, to be honest, like he, like he, he, he could have kept the goals. I would have liked the Gucci today, but with goals. You like them hood niggas for real, boy. I swear. But with the goals. Yeah. Mm. Okay. No, I don't really like him too big. But even the old Gucci, he wasn't. He wasn't, he wasn't big like, like that. He was big because of that damn lean. Like his yeah. stomach was just. Like his stomach was just. Yeah, Gucci was. Mm-hmm. Gucci and then was like Gucci. that mixed with the way he talked and his dry ass lips. <laughs> it just was, you know. <laughs> he had a lot going on. Wait, so he had the donuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All white. <laughs> yeah, y'all wrong for that. Get out of Gucci, man. He good. Nah, he nice and healthy. That's funny. Yeah, Gucci, Gucci. I don't yeah, know if it's a real Gucci, him but well it's Gucci. Well kept. Mm. Jail eating <coughs> good, huh? Yeah. That's funny. Um, preference. I, I like big muscular, but I like them, I like big too. Cause you I'm like just, Teddy Bear? Yeah, I like teddy bear now, but see, there's a difference though. There's teddy bear, you big, and you keep yourself up, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you a good big, and then there's nasty sloppy big. I do not do sloppy joes. Mm-mm, yeah, that ain't me, man. Smell, mm mm, mm sloppy, gross. Mm-mm. I think that's the same way that men look at it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because women, women, you know what I'm saying. You know, you got to roll it. It's just like it's just like men. It smells. You know what I'm saying. So I mean, that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect that shit. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> so I think I think everybody got the same preference. Myself. Yeah, and we keep it simple, baby. Cool, like yeah, I, I like I, I like some like big females that yeah, they like, have I'm not, I'm not ADA ADA or nothing pretty. like that, but like they keep themselves yeah, well they face kept. Pretty, like, and they yeah, like they be they on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah no that's point. nothing better than me. Smelling good, dressing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, on point. Yes, all of that. Now I can make mm-hmm. some biscuits from scratch. <laughs> not from not from the camp. I'm talking about yeah. they they whip it up. That's they how they got keep thick. It fed. Yeah, that's how they got thick. Mm-hmm. Shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, three. In the winter time, why is it considered cuffing season? In the winter time, why is considered cuffing season? That's when y'all want to get with the big bitches. Uh-huh. Really? With the what? Break that down. Break that down. I want you to break that down since you feeling like that. Cuffing season. That's when y'all want to reach out to the teddy bears. Well, you know, 
<laughs> it's cold outside. You know, they warm you up. They bring you in. Tax time. Mm. Uh-uh-uh. I'm just being 100. Y'all don't mind if I be real, right? Go ahead, these things. Cause they got you tax time. They, big, they got kids. So they getting the bigger time. Let me mess up your taxes. <laughs> 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 let me flip your taxes. I mean, let me flip their taxes, baby. By the way, you, you have somebody to do your taxes. Do I have somebody yeah. to do my taxes? If y'all need somebody to do y'all taxes, you do taxes. She does. Oh yeah. And just tell her. T- no, tell her. Tell her that Sock sent you. Sock sent me. Alright. Y'all make sure y'all say Sock sent you, please. When y'all pull up to Tax Man Molly and Alicia. But yeah, I mean, O-X. But yeah, um, I just think it's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just, that, it's just cold yeah, outside. People, yeah, people just be like, we live in Florida, it is not fucking cold outside. It's just a stereotype. Yeah. But you know, we gotta, we, yeah, it, it's not. It's so, so, we gotta make the best of the little cold that we be having. I don't, I don't. Mm-mm. So let me ask this then, since y'all feel like, why do, why do we, why do y'all go for the guys that has the the gold in the mouth and the in the big rim versus the guy guy that might just drive an average car and work every day? I don't like I don't like the big rims. Like mm-hmm. I don't like driving a nice car. I just, I just car. the big, the goals, I, the I don't know. I like me some gold. Yeah. What about the gold? Or even just like the the the, the diamond, like the diamond ones, ones. <laughs> I like goals, but I mean, I'm I mean, trying I to get me some. But I is it because out. they portray that they hard or no? Or no, it's just a, a it's just an accessory. Just an accessory. Yeah, it's just a, she really a nice accessory. Real. She like a ratchet. She like a ratchet. It's like a, a nice accessory. Um, I could do without the goals. I honestly like a nice clean cut million dollar smile, Colgate. Yeah, I like that. Like, if you can flash me that smile, go for it. Like, <coughs> not nice teeth. You know what I'm saying? All over it. But I, I like nice teeth versus that. <coughs> Y'all don't have a cold. These allergies is kicking my ass right now. I have this dry ass cough. It's horrible. Is it take D? You just saying is it take D? Clarity D? What I take? I took some type of allergen pill uh, this what, morning. Zentrix? I think it made me sleepy though. Yeah, it will. Some of that stuff will. I think it, I think it had Benadryl in it or something like that because it made me sleepy. So I had to get a coffee. I can't do Benadryl. I'm allergic to Benadryl. Mm. Benadryl take me out. But I can do some Zeratex, yeah. uh, Claritin D, and all that. But Benadryl. I'm about to nah. get some of that because I going to Georgia and all that damn pollen and then coming back in in that airplane. You can. It's all yeah. right here. But, but anyway, the flow nays and the flow nays will take care of that too. Um, Open you right up. Nah, but then it's draining. That's what's making me cough. But it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back this way. It's not gonna drain back. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, we gonna okay. try something. Get the shit under control. That's what I do. So I have the same problem. Mm-hmm. So, winter time, cuffing season. You do cuffing season? Mm-hmm. I'm cuffing the bag. There yeah, you go. Man, that every yeah. Like Cuffing I, it harder. Season. Season. Harder. Cause harder. Four, yeah, because fourth quarter is like crunch time. Yeah. Fourth quarter is crunch time. I'm cuffing the bag harder. So you ain't you with me during my fourth season while I'm grinding. When I'm looking rough, my hair all fucked up. And uh, ain't no cuffing season when that money roll in. I feel you on that. But I cuff all season. It don't matter. That's I want right. my money. <coughs> over everything money because you can have the prettiest woman in the world you can have a nice looking man in the world but when you take them to that bill place they're going to look at you but you take that money there different story so you know what I'm saying you got to find somebody that's going to be equal to your money money yep. over everything same level what do girls call big guys teddy bear <laughs> Depend. See, you gotta understand big though. We can say seven foot. They might call him the gentle giant. You know what I'm saying? If it's like if it's like Rick Ross, they gonna call him Teddy Bear. They gonna call him some some people call him Daddy. 
Mm-hmm. Or they oh, what's the new one? Zaddy or whatever y'all say? Zaddy. Nah, Zaddy, all different situations. Zaddy. But what is, is Zaddy? Zaddy? Zaddy is in this whole different category. Zaddy what is, is Zaddy? something that's like. That's that guy, huh? What's the difference between Daddy and Zaddy? Um, that's what I'm at. That's that guy. Daddy, I feel like is more like he t- he just take care of stuff. He makes sure it's straight. Zaddy, Zaddy is, is yeah. like Zaddy he is he is doing like, that and putting it down right. He putting it down, huh? Yeah, daddy. <clears throat> but I, I've never used that word. You never used daddy? I've used daddy before, but not zaddy, that shit. Oh, yeah. I, I do, but like, and like, in place. In place, shit. Not yeah. like, for real. Like. I. Mm mm. So stupid. <laughs> so stupid to me. I just don't. Zanny. I just don't like it. Like, it's just. Mm mm. Mm mm. Zaddy. That shit sounds crazy as hell. Zaddy. <clears throat> or big papa. Poppy. Big papa. You should look that up in the um urban dictionary and see if there's a definition for it. So big papa is like is like is that the same as saying zaddy? Big you papa. say big papa? Or is that just like saying daddy? Yeah, big papa What do you use big papa for? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna flex, I don't even know. See back in, see, back in my day that was that tricking guy. That was that guy you tripped Big Papa. Big Daddy, Big Papa. Yeah, that was that Daddy, guy. That was that. Poppy. That was that side. <laughs> Why? Why did I write so <laughs> I wrote so much. <laughs> ah. Okay. I'm going to read it now. <laughs> Is that long? <laughs> <laughs> Has there been a time where there was a female you thought you would like because of how she looked? And you had her, and you had oh, to. you had to let her go because she wasn't it. I'm oh, yeah. sure everybody that had that moment. You didn't try hard to get her. Try and hard to get her. That motherfucker ain't shit. Mm. Ain't shit as far as ain't shit. Period. Just ain't shit. I ain't trying to do nothing. Ain't shit. Ain't just ain't shit. You, duh. I hope I'm definitely not naming no names because I can name no, them. No, don't name but, names. Don't no, we names. don't do that. We don't do that here. We don't drop names. But, yeah, most definitely, like, I'm over here stressing this person and thought that's, you know what I'm saying, where I thought things would be good. Man, I got him. I was like, oops. <laughs> nah, I'm straight. Mm-mm. But, when you say ain't, let me clarify my ain't shit. <laughs> Meaning as, like, she a player or something like that or or mm-hmm. she just don't want nothing out of life. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you want somebody that's gonna be your equal, equal to you. Right. You know what I'm like saying? So she, when you say ain't ain't shit, she just don't want that. Right. Why she, like wanna, she, she ain't got no purpose. Yeah, she ain't got no purpose. She just look look good. Or she just using you. Yeah. Using you for what you got or you know what I'm saying? <coughs> it's a lot of those. I mean, uh, y'all, y'all don't be wanting to fuck with real shit. That, that's what y'all want. But how y'all do, how do, do you the define? Most, how y'all do, do the most to get the baggies, and they don't be shit. How do you define a real one? How you define a real one? Can't be that's defined. opinionated. A real one can't that's be opinionated. defined. So how? So why would you say that then? Why would you say they gotta have? Opinion? They gotta have the certain characteristics, like as far as being a real one, like. But women make it hard for guys, though. Wow. Because if the guy with the blue collar come and talk to you, mm-hmm. first thing y'all gonna do is what? Yeah. He ain't got no gold in his mouth. Just just take everything you like and wipe it away. Mm-hmm. Would you talk to him? I would talk to him, yes. But I would be, I would be in my head, I would be questioning, like, why does he want to talk to me? Because... I'm probably going to have um, sweatpants and tennis shoes when he approaches me. That's the way so, you want a guy to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to be like, hi. <laughs> All right. hi. But, it, but it, it ain't it ain't easy for a dude because a dude look at females. Yeah, I want to talk. I don't know. Think about it. it it's, females don't Females don't really approach a guy. A guy got to approach his female. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nah, it's 
But on what though? What you mean? Like, like why would women approaching guys? We can approach them through DM. Saying what? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Period. And dudes don't just move and be like, okay, hey, she just say what's up. You yeah. doing it? Yes. Well, not right now, but I'm saying, like, as a female, yes, you being like, hey, what's up? So to, you like, so somebody, the guy that you like? You that, so you have before they reach out. Yes, I've approached a dude before. Mm. <laughs> I have approached a dude before. Mm. If I if I like, how did it, it work out? Oh, it was straight. I just ended up approaching the wrong person. I guess. I know, right? That's Crazy. all approach niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but then it'd be like, if I like the dude, they approach. Sometimes if they if they approach me. I feel bad. They don't even know what they're getting themselves into. So, still be the same outcome. Pretty much. True. <coughs> True. But I still think females make it hard. Y'all don't realize that the, the situation, it takes a lot for a guy to, to really approach a woman. Especially if his confidence level is not there. Then if his confidence level is mm-hmm. not then if he got like all this confidence in himself, he got too much confidence. It's nah, like, there's a way to go about it though. Like okay. sometimes, like if you have good confidence, like I like a confident guy. Like I don't. If you're scary, that means I can whoop your ass. I can't. You, I can't be shit with you. If you like too much, you cocky. That means it's like your ego can be like easily. You know what I'm saying? Softened. That means if if I get too far ahead in my success. I know your ego is going to be like, dang, like, she beating me out. If you too cocky about shit, that's like, oh, yeah, I got this, that, and third, and I, I'm doing this. And it's like, I didn't even ask her your name, like, so let alone all is, this other stuff that you so tell me. if he's, like, real bragg- braggadocious. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Like, don't brag about nothing. But that's, that's different from <laughs> having confidence in yourself. Bro. That's what I'm saying. There's different levels of confidence because they, they teeter that line. Confidence just means that whatever campaign that you're trying to sell me, you fuck with it as hard as you as you are. As far as like like my campaign, I call them campaigns. <clears throat> Socks, yeah, cause like I'm I'm if I'm approaching you, I'm really selling myself to you. Like I'm trying to get you to like me if you don't already like right, me. Right. So that's what the campaign is. You trying to get a vote from somebody who might have a vote for somebody else. So what is your pickup line? Oh, when I when I go yeah, yeah. what's your pickup line? I want to hear. You didn't hear what I just said. Hey, what's up? Cause I don't approach nobody. Like like I have I have that type of energy where it's like, well, I have two. I, I it looks like I have two different energies. One, I'm gonna put you in the friend zone. I just I'm just not not approachable. Right. And then the other one is just like, oh, she look like she go for anything that's gonna uh, that's gonna talk to her because of how she look, not even knowing. I'm in right. mode. Like, like, you don't even know what you just signed up for. Yeah. I mean, dudes like that too, though. I mean, and that's what makes it hard because you got you got some women that that you think is 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 that hardcore person, and if you just approach them, it's mm-hmm. gonna be a little different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They'll be the ones that even willing to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, but then you go see that one over there just because she got that nice little. You know what I'm saying, but then you, but then you look at the other girl. She ain't really linking all that. Mm-hmm. But she that one that she might go home and really, yeah, make it happen when she, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's why I say that, that you got to know how to read people. Personnel. Yeah, you got to know. If you don't, you gonna lose out. You ever um, you ever thought somebody was it because of their looks and then you out and you was like. I was my fucking time. Oh yeah, every man mm-hmm. been every, every man have been now. That's everybody though. Um, I need to have a conversation with you first nowadays. Mm. Cause nowadays niggas be looking so good and be so stupid. Conversation Idiot. piece. Yeah. Conversation or piece. A lot of what I've realized is that a lot of people are are like. When they're approaching people and they're meeting new people and they're courting people, they are 
not being themselves in the moment. They're being what they want to be years from now. If that makes sense. Or they being what they being what they think they, they think, want right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. They're you not being saying? truthful, and you and if as time passes on, I've noticed that a lot of like the guy that I talk to, and it's like, why? Yeah. Why? Because what you see is what you get. Like, yeah. You know what, oh, wow. what you see is what you get. Because at the end of the day, and that, do you know how much energy that takes to fake to be somebody else? But the thing is, <laughs> I don't even know that some some guys really know that they're doing it, or if they're doing it on purpose. Because, like, yeah, I'm living in my truth now, but I'm working towards the Alicia years from now. And I think guys, I don't know, and some females, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but yeah. I think they definitely giving you what you want to hear and what you want to see. But you know, when you and start you know, over with somebody, like me, you could have had, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, a relationship. We was in the relationship for like three years, right? All you know is what I've revealed to you within these three years. Yep. This person right here don't know shit, so I can start all over again. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, this is what I, I want to push myself and elevate here, so let me be here with this person. Mm-hmm. The problem comes in when you can't back that shit up. Mm-hmm. That's where the problem comes yep. in. Because you, you can you can behavior right. is different with this other That truth person. gonna come out every time. Yes, right. it is. It's that too. Now, if you have a, if you have a situation where the circle is close, and this person see how they yeah. gonna be like that's not how you yeah right. like yeah. you you ain't ratchet like that with me like get around the home yeah. girl, and totally you, be, you start to see like like are you the real you when you right you right or... facts that's why that's why if a dude approach me and i be looking cute dolled up and stuff like that i really don't even be taking him serious sometimes yeah, that's, be not, like, what you're that's not what you're gonna get you're gonna be disappointed you are gonna be disappointed <laughs> Like that joggers, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get like, especially when I have my hair done like this, they be disappointed, boy. When the summertime come, cause I don't do, I don't have this. I have my hair out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I do the froze, I do like the natural look. The most you gonna get from me from like on a daily is lip gloss and lashes. And that's as false mm-hmm. as I get is my lashes. But natural beauty to me is always the best. Mm-hmm. I hate to see. And I don't conform to. You know what I'm saying? Lashes, I hate to see a woman that. Makeup is called makeup. Uh-huh. It's there to make you up for what you don't have. That's what makeup is. So if you if you're naturally pretty, why try to put on the makeup? Cause it just be enhancement. Enhancement, but some people go too much. Oh, that baby can't. And they take away from their natural look and make themselves look worse. Yeah, that be that cake. Mm-mm, can't do that. But yeah, boy, I the, could... the eyelashes, but they going crazy. The eyelashes. Well, mm-hmm. I, as far as you gonna see, because somebody had asked us. Why y'all didn't dress up and be all dolled up for y'all flyers on y'all stuff? Because what you see is what you get. Like, we ain't dolled up, dressed up on camera in public. We dressed and dolled up in public. It's got to be an occasion for real. And why is that? Why, 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 why do you feel that way? Why is that an occasion? No, why, why do you feel like you don't want to be dolled up on your flyer? Well, we... we we did what was what came natural to us. <laughs> that was it. Chill yeah. mode clothes. You know what I'm saying? We don't need like, don't some makeup. Females, some females, okay, they, they know they have a photo shoot on this day. They riffing and running to get hair and nails done. Like, I ain't doing we that. We got a photo shoot coming up. We, we might we condition just our hair. show up and <laughs> try to match. <laughs> or, what you wear? You know, All right, bet. All right. Let's think about this. Boom, boom. We got that. Yeah, That's don't... it. We don't do none of that extra stuff. Like the most, the most matching we gonna do is clothing items. As far as like, you wearing a sweater? All right, I'm gonna wear a jacket. You wearing jean shorts? All right, we gonna. All right, that's it. Other than that, we don't be. Well, believe it. But also, it's like... just like how we dress. Like you gonna be really disappointed. All right, but most dudes, pe- people think it's crazy, but. Most do we don't really care about all that makeup and stuff like that. You what know what? Of? It's crazy because I got friends. And you like, see the, the natural, the real you. My friends have like a, I guess you could say like a type of image. Mm-hmm. But they have a type of image where it's like, I mean, all my friends are like art, are artists, industry, and stuff like that. So all of them really have 
like or athletes they have this image where they want the fake everything yeah. and then they be telling me like you see this shit this girl don't like my pick five times about to block her ass but then the girl that's natural is like dang bro like I mean I've been mean, on little shawty and I'm like oh, oh okay but see I, I think the problem nowadays is guys the young guys really don't know how to approach a woman either you know what I'm saying cause you think about back in the days well when I was coming up you know y'all look you know, younger than me but when I was coming up we had like the R&B music we had things to teach us that kind of stuff somebody said that R&B music is not the same it's not it's, it's not it's, standing it's, it's, in the rain the same it's not but I mean I mean back then that what gave us that what gave us the lyrics the the, the, the way to approach a woman back then nowadays everybody what's up shouting? You know what I'm saying? That shit annoying. It's very annoying. Still, just saying. I can get a lighter. No. Still, just saying. Excuse me. How Damn. you doing? My name is so and so. That's what they be asking me. Damn. What's up? Um. Hey, you got a lighter? No. I see one on your on your on, on your belt. So. That's his pickup line. That's horrible, and I already know that. That's why I'm like. That's oh, why I can't said. Can't even touch my shit. That's why I said they don't know how to approach. Or I be on my phone. Hey, you wanna put my number in your phone? No. Like, oh, what's your Instagram? I don't have one. Oh, you just don't like me. Bingo. The fuck? Like, what you doing? Get away from me. You popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Should be crazy. <clears throat> but alright, so is there any questions that you wanna ask us? Is there anything like whatever the case may be as we wrap this up? I mean, why did y'all call it one shot? What's the meaning behind it? Oh. Yeah, I just wanted a drink on the show. I was just like, let's take a shot. So I guess, I don't know how we really, because the name, the name was kind of like settled on. Like we was getting aggravated low key, like. Mm -hmm. But I just, I agreed, she agreed. Boom, one shot, and that's it. Somebody else came up with the mandatory. Oh. I think it was Casey. Remember I called Casey? Oh. It's been a while. But I, I, I think I called her. But but yeah, so that's, I don't know. The name was just kind of like a Russian type situation. I ain't going to play. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. <coughs> I like it. I like it. I like the whole concept of everything. Um, you know gotta take the first shot so the first shot is mandatory to even start the whole show mm -hmm. so how would you uh do y'all ever incorporate like truth or dare or, mm -hmm. okay. yeah we've done that. truth or dare uh always versus socks prank calls prank calls yeah those are funny so you gotta do some more of those um this or that we do uh never have i ever uh five things i bet you didn't know Fiction or non-fiction. We do a lot. I think y'all should do the one-shot tour. And just go, like, to different cities. And it's just my, it's just with me, like, the concert. Like, when y'all go to concerts and you meet, like, different DJs or somebody like that. We all make them take a shot with us. Right. And then they all do, like, a drop or something for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's stuff that you can take and you can collect it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's all it really be, just somebody... Just the more people you have doing doing uh, drops and stuff like that, because you gotta think that's everybody fan base. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, like if they're doing a concert in Lakewood, and all you need is your phone. And that's really it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just go with like, how did you like that concert? What made you come out of this club? You know, just you know what I'm saying? Just I like going to the talent and being like, take a shot with us. That's true too. It's just a little bit more easier. It's just nowadays it's easy to do anything now because social media just opened the door for everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And everybody want to be your friends if you got a thousand and some followers. They want to be your friends. It, mm -hmm. it, open you, it open doors to everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, I know a lot of people, but I'd rather know the key players. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? That's what people, they get the whole misconception. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to know a hundred people. I want to know five. 
Because those five know all the, they already know the 100 people. And nine times out of 10, you're damn to know the same people. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So why not just know the key players? Me, like L Nice, that's a key player. I personally know him. Shout out to L Nice. Yeah, that's my dog all day. <laughs> but I personally know him. So if I'm doing music with anybody, that's who I go with. L Nice, how you like this? What you think about this? You know what I'm saying? Network. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Network equals network. You don't network, you can't make your network grow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all, I think y'all definitely got something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I could do to help y'all. <coughs> you know, it's a long damn drive from Lakeland though. I would <laughs> tell y'all asses that. I was like, my God, am I ever gonna get here? It is an hour and. 10 minutes. I want 10 minutes. Lakeland's only 30, 45 minutes away, so. Who the hell Lakeland you been to? Oh, just on the outskirts. <laughs> just <laughs> get up on exit 36. Oh, yeah, you over there in Polk City. Oh, Polk City. Uh, Drop off King Quebec. Yeah. Yeah, you Polk City area. You, yeah, you right there. Mm-hmm. See, I'm deep. I'm, be, I'm in the heart of Lakeland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, um, as uh, are y'all looking to do more, like, People from Polk County? We're looking to do the whole state. Okay, how you going about, like, how do y'all choose what artist or what DJ or what whoever you want? Because if I can help you out, I will. Over hot, making a buzz. Anybody that we really fucking with, that's fucking with us. What if I can get y'all, like, people who reach out? What if I can get y'all, like, DJ Secret, somebody? Have y'all ever heard of him? Mm hmm. He's a secret. Huh? <laughs> she ain't I never heard of him, so I'm playing but, with his name. But, yeah, but, um, but, yeah, I heard, I heard a secret. Like, but it's kind of like she said, like, I mean, there's only 52 Mondays. So I always say that, right. y'all. There's only 52 Mondays, so it's like the ones who've been really rocking with us for right now, that's who we, that's who we talking to. And then as time grows, obviously the ones who aren't rocking with us right now, they'll eventually start rocking with us because we done right. we done did the ones that showed that's been showing us love without us asking for it. And then as time goes on, we just build like that. So right now we're just trying to knock everybody out the way that really been on the list since season one. Okay, okay. Well, just let me know whenever you're ready to meet her to make some phone calls. Okay. I will personally, I will personally make the phone call. Bet. I'm with it. I just ask that they respect our time. And What's your show time? Up. Actually show up. Yeah. Anybody I call, they gonna they gonna show okay. up. Okay. But that be the thing about like dealing with people that I'm not. I'm not gonna bring you. We nobody. don't see on a daily that aren't in the city. But these these are we we set up the day. Right. And, you know, <clears throat> we've had a couple of those. Shit, we've had some in the city. What you saying? But see, secret, secret is already coming over here in Orlando. Yeah, I wasn't excluding Orlando. Oh, yeah, secret already coming over here in Orlando. Mm-hmm. So that's why it'd be it'd be easy to try to make it happen, and he'll be willing to do it. That's cool. Right now, no flex. We booked out to uh, March. That's good. Really, April, but I'm I'm gonna leave it open for right now. Now, as far as far as um far as what I do, as far as uh, I'm working with um, I'm finna, this this is a plug, Marcy White. Uh, I'm messing with uh Slow from Clay Cut. Uh, we getting ready to put my dog Cocky back in the studio. Getting ready to put him back on from Polk County. Uh, look out I'm about for G- to say. <laughs> Cocky. Look out for G Beasy. G Beasy been making a lot of moves. Uh, he actually working on. A movie, a show, a TV show, or whatever. Right now, um, he got a he actually got a distribution deal through Rock Nation. Mm-hmm. So he he's real big in Polk County. Um, What's his name? G B Z. So G B E E Z Y. G B Z. Um, I gotta say Marcy White. That's who I'm like. I, that's my that's my diehard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my diehard all day. <laughs> I'm gonna say her name to the pretty girl music. Yeah, she all love. Her. Um, but um, but that's family though. That's like that's my blood relative, so that's why I fuck with her. Okay. <laughs> right. That's right. 
uh, DJ Secret, that's blood, that's family. You got like Mike Chicken. I, I can bring y'all kind of people, like depending on what you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'll put my name on it. I'll put my face on it. Mm -hmm. So they don't show up. I'll make the call back and find out why the fuck they ain't show up. Yeah, okay. I see it. Yeah, because um, I'm I'm a little passive, but this one over here, I'm sure I'll play that shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm blame. Blame. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Because, because listen, your word is all you have. You know what I'm saying? You tell me you coming, at least tell me you ain't going to come. All right. Because it ain't nothing for us to get somebody else on. Right. Ever. No. Ever. It's never. That, <laughs> see, that'd be my thing. It'd be like, bruh, we want you to be on here. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, show love like how we pretty much showing love. And then, like, when you do that and it's kind of like a slap in the face, it's like, do you? I wish I could put our DMs on display, like, or our emails. Like, we want you to be on here. So don't, don't take it where it's like, oh, they begging me to be on. But see, that's how people get, though. I don't know why I people mean, get like that. we appreciate it because we still growing ourselves. So, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like... But it's a plug. I mean, I mean, it's a plug for the for the person, too, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, because... I don't don't, don't, don't think you coming up here and you just making us big. We making you big at the same time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you get a chance time. to be heard. You get a chance to plug your music. You get a chance to plug your websites or whatever you got going on at the time. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And that's where people get the misconception. Podcasting is basically your promotion. That's a chance for you to promote yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna plug everybody. In. If I can, if I get on a mic, you put a mic in my hand. I'm plugging everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna plug in. You gonna that's be like, like, how the hell he got all the people? Name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if I drop your name, I know I can pick up the phone and call you. I don't drop nobody's name. I can't pick up the phone and call. Thanks. I mean, I can. Literally sitting right here, everybody I call, I can call them right now. They're going to be like, what up, Smooth? Everybody. If they don't answer right then, they're going to call them right back. That's good. Because your personality and who you are is all you have. That's why you got to be real. That's why you got to have your eyes wide open, seeing through the fake, recognizing. Wait. One shot, Manitoba. Bow. Keep Wait, all of that. So real quick before we go. Ah! Tell us also about um, how you don't like your pictures. Oh yeah, let me let me get into this shit. <laughs> I want y'all to keep this here too. This is a creative director. This is where I really got in my fitness. <laughs> when I seen this picture of me holding this damn box, if I tell y'all how long ago that picture is, y'all are really loud. But when I seen this, I'm like, I know she's joking. <laughs> like all the pictures you could have found, like how I didn't they, find no pictures. What was funny? Was what was funny was how in the hell you dug to the archives to find that one? <laughs> you look, you scrolled to find it. <laughs> I said she had to be made. I said this got to be a joke. This got to be a joke. <laughs> you no, know, look, I just was like scrolling. I was like, all right, and I think I had stopped scrolling, but it just stopped right there, and then when I went back to the phone, I was like, oh, okay, well, look, I guess. It's but this would take the cake. Why she just didn't hit me up and say, send me a picture? Listen, so, like I said, I was doing, like, a lot of stuff at one time. It's pretty much I know, I know you're a busy person. I know. No, it ain't even that. I'm saying I was doing more than one, like, finding one more than one person at one time. Like, you are other guests, so I'm just like, all right. And I have a deadline. I miss my deadline. But listen, this is going to take the cake. Everybody else got them beautiful pictures. Oh my so, god. They just looking so good. They promote themselves. Is fine. So it's this is okay. what I said. Then what I said. Since y'all got my picture, let's swap it out. Let's swap it out. Put it on there anyway. She got the picture already. She got two of them. I'm just saying. We'll we'll have our uh, we'll have our um I'll even pay graphics. for my picture change. I ha we'll have our graphics. It'll um, be a hundred. A hundred who? Text lady. Text man, text man. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> man, your girl socks. Oh, wait. And you know, I'm yours truly, DJ Smooth Eyes Wide Open, man. Don't be sleep. Keep them open. Just watching one shot. Mandatory. Mandatory. Yeah.